So, I went to Office Depot, Target, and then across from there was the mall. And I wanted to go to Children's Place because they are doing, um, well, A, it's tax free week and last day uh, in Texas. And then a lot of their stuff is 50% off or just really 30%. Really good prices right now, actually. And then right now, you are earning, if you spend $20, you get double the play cash. So you're getting $20 in play cash, which essentially to me is like getting the item to free if you get the $20, even Steven. Um, I don't think you can use them until September, which is fine. Right now, I'm sitting at $30 in play cash. So sometime come September... Um, uh, hopefully they'll put out some more pants and I'll, you know, go there. While I was in the mall, though, um, I happened to see a sign in Bath & Body Works that their pocket sanitizers were a dollar. I really want to have him keep one on his backpack um, this year and maybe that will help with germs and I don't know what else. So since they were a dollar, which to me has always been crazy because I can get the... 8 ounce pretty bottle of uh, Purell, totally free after coupons and I bought a rebate, but oh well um, and because these are different and new, they're not new, I don't know they've been this size for years but instead of being the normal, the old style that will um, fit the holders that will you know, you can buy the cheap dollar ones at Dollar Tree, these don't fit them or at least I don't think they do, so I had her hunt me down some of the plain um holders and these are just a dollar if they're just these oops plain ones um like the black one and then um i got a green one because it was either that or neon orange or hot pink and they had some fancy like sport ones but those suckers were like 350 and up so okay so i got two I pretty much was while I was waiting on her to find the solid ones. I pretty much smelled all of them. Um, now this is just a fragrance free one because I don't know. We've never done scented hand sanitizer with him. So I mean we've done the aloe and that's been okay. But just in case some of these scents bother him. I did get two of the fragrance free because that's all they had was two of the fragrance free ones. Um, he loves the smell of marshmallows. So, I thought this was pretty, it would be pretty good for him. It's making s'mores, not war. Um, doesn't it actually say that it smells like anything, but it has that campfire smell to me, which I don't like. I got one of the Halloween ones. This is Wicked Plum. Um, um, this one. Oh my god. Not only because it's unicorn, the name is unicorn water. But this is a what scent is this? A magical melon. I don't know. Th this one. Oh my jeez, this one smells amazing. So I got two of these. And these suckers are originally 75 cents. I mean a dollar seventy-five. So I saved 75 cents on each one of those. And then the other, okay. Then one more fragrance free and one more unicorn water. So I got six of those. And I noticed on the receipt, for some reason, I don't know if hand sanitizer counts. I've never looked if it counts as tax part of the tax free stuff. I mean, it's usually a on school list, but see, so you save 75 cents on each of those. And then, um, so it says on six of them, which would be the pocket sanitizer, there was no tax. But then on the $2, which are the um, holders are two dollars, so I don't know. It says I saved four fifty, so my total was eight seventeen. So I thought that was a pretty good deal on those. Um, but yeah, that unicorn one. And it's been forever since I've been into Bath and Body Works because normally. I know, like, the last couple times that I bought stuff when I lived near Austin, I just ordered online. Okay, so Office Depot, I wanted to go again today to get their new penny items. And then you have to qualify, you have to buy a minimum of $5. So one of the things I was going to do was, it's a Vivitar 26 MPH amp or whatever, 
power bank that was three dollars. I've been debating about getting him a power bank, and I was like, for three dollars, that I asked some people, they said that was pretty good, but my store did not carry them, so they had this one for five bucks, and this is just a two thousand whatever. And then it's a mini power bank, so I don't know what the difference is between that. Maybe just the size. And it's got a built-in um, LED. And this one actually comes with the cord. I don't think the other one came with the cord. Um, and this is whatever brand that is. So I don't know if I'm going to give this to him now or if I'm just going to wait and put this in his stocking. So, um, yeah, that should work. Now, I'm not quite sure how these actually work, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping this will work with our Android. So there's that, but the penny items this week are 12 count Office Depot pencils for a penny. Um, and this, you know, with your minimum five dollar purchase that's interesting they say latex free erasers hmm. and these this stuff is stuff I'm gonna add to a bag and just donate to his school so I got three of those they're in there somewhere I found these on clearance and these feel really nice in case the ones from Dollar Tree don't work these were 34 cents they were originally like a dollar 75 but they got a bigger hole on them um, I did not realize they had a clearance out last time I was in, well, just on Friday. So I thought I'd get these. These are 10 of them for 34 cents. So hopefully they will work. Really need to break out some of his pencils and try them. The other penny item were the Scholastic Glue. Minimum $5 purchase. Then these are, and remember with these, your limit is three. Um... What else? The other penny item was plastic Office Depot brand ruler. So I got three of those. And then because I had figured getting the $3 power bank and then picking up $2 more, you know, something else for $2 wouldn't be a big deal. Um, since this was five dollars, I went ahead and met my purchase there. But I already had these in my basket, and since these are just fifty cents, these come in handy for all kinds of stuff. Um, I actually will poke, um, use my hole puncher and make holes. It will not tear if you do it on this thicker part here and put these in the binder. Um, I prefer these better than zipper pouches because they're clear, but. Those are 50 cents, and then I got two of these Blitter Star ones that were 50 cents. Um, I may include one of these in the teacher um, thing that I'm making for his teacher. Because I'm giving away stuff, and then I'm also going to make her something. And then I got this for a dollar, because I can't find my labels, and I label all his stuff. So, since these were only a dollar fifty. Originally three dollars. There's there's thirty of them in there. And then the other penny item was uh, wide rolled or college rolled, I think. I don't know, but were the notebooks for a penny after your five dollar purchase. So I did that. So notebooks, pencils, rulers, and scholastic glue are the penny items for this week, as well as colored paper, which is originally six. And then I think that goes back on your card. I don't think it automatically, I think with the paper, it, the $5.99 or whatever will go back on your card. I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, but it did include the color paper this week, the rainbow paper. So there is that. And then... I'm going to stop and I'll come back with you with the clothes. Thank you for watching. I'll be right back.